Of the many things that Jim Jordan is looking into, he is continuing his investigation into big tech, focusing on a new platform. House Judiciary Committee Chairman sent a letter to Meta Chairman and CEO Mark Zuckerberg asking for documents on Threads. That's Meta's new Twitter clone. Uh, in the letter, Jordan says, in part, the committee is concerned about potential First Amendment violations that have occurred or will occur on the Threads platform. He accompanied that letter with a question on Twitter. Is Threads already working with the federal government to censor Americans? Joining us now, Robbie Suave, co-host of Rising on the Hill. Good to see you, as always. Uh, you know, this is what I think is kind of interesting. Um, concerned about potential First Amendment violations that have occurred or will occur on the platform. I'm not a constitutional lawyer like my friend Scott here is, but the, the First Amendment doesn't say anything about private corporations. Right. Uh, I think uh, Jim Jordan has this a little backwards here. It's fine to be concerned about the federal government putting pressure on social media companies to take down speech. In fact, we do have a lot of evidence of that, the White House doing that, the FBI, the CDC, et cetera. But it's not, um, as you point out, the constitutional violation isn't when the social media company takes down the speech. It's when the federal government, if they're doing this, put pressure on them. So he's he's focusing on, on the wrong end here. He should you know, he should you know investigate to the extent they're already doing this, continue the investigations into federal government agencies that might be pressuring uh, Facebook, Twitter, anyone else. Don't blame the victim here. You get you get robbed. You don't uh, you know haul the person who got <clears throat> robbed before a hung before Congress to talk about robbery, you go after the robbers. Uh, it's, a good, it's a great point in terms of you can either try to attack the social media companies or you can try to co-opt them in one way or another. Robbie, we're going to work on your microphone for one second and uh, chat with the panel about this. Is this sort of idea of social media management, censorship, whatever you want to call it? I, I feel, Scott, it's fine. Democrats have been in favor of it. Republicans have been against it. At some point, the shoe is going to be on the other foot, isn't it? Yeah, and regulations are coming because of the 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 impact, the negative impact social media has had. First Amendment is great, if you will, but you still have to attack the government. You can't attack the private sector and and believe there's some private corporate conspiracy to allow people to to uh, do away with Republican messaging on social media and only Democratic messaging. That's not a winning argument. In fact, the federal district court that uh, that, that ish barred the uh, government from talking to social media companies, the circuit just uh, put a stay on that. We knew that was coming because that was that order was just too broad. Well, and look, even Elon, you know, there, <laughs> the number of Republicans I've said I've seen like say, "Oh my God, Elon, you're the savior of free speech," and then Elon caves the Chinese, and Elon caves mm -hmm. the Saudis, and Elon, mm -hmm. and and so then they all have to come out. Like Vivek has come out and criticized Elon for these things. But we haven't regulated tech; we've allowed it to decimate right. industries. And so I do, I agree with you, Scott. I think Section 230 reform is coming. But I did talk to some Republicans who told me, even though you have some people who are on the Hill saying, yes, we should reform this, that it's very unlikely because it's very complicated. Given the body of evidence that we've now seen from the 2020 election, I, th I think you're going to get some bipartisan uh, support for regulations. I think, number one, Democrats are going to continue to harp on what they call disinformation and trying to limit that and empower these social medias to continue to go after it. Republicans are going to say you can't censor opinion. You can't censor political information out there, and the federal government doesn't have a role. This is, this is Congressional Investigations 101. What you can't get from the agencies who are communicating with these social media companies, you go right to the social media companies and ask them to turn it over. And but, that's why I think you're going to see some subpoenas come out on this and try and get the testimony, because if the FBI and the other agencies that have actually been engaging yeah. with the social media companies, mm -hmm. they're going to bring in the Facebook executives and say, tell us what they told But them. what is this all for? Every time there's a new social media platform, Form, are they going to drag in the executive yes, of that company yeah, and say, yeah, yeah. you know, oh, you're, you're exactly the, we're the victims here? Uh, that's horrible. Especially when it's one established by the people who did it in but 2020. Establishment or not, let me let me tell you who I've had it with. It's the congressmen and congresswomen who were screaming a foul about censorship when there isn't full evidence there is any. Okay, so let's just calm down on that train. What I see not happening here is anybody really addressing the big problem. And I'm, I'm one for limited regulation, but it's the fact that American kids are committing suicide yeah. and kids are being targeted and trafficked because of social media platforms. Yeah. People are not talking about that. As a parent, I am outraged. As a parent of three daughters, I'm outraged. As somebody that has to see more and more media stories coming up about missing women, why are we not holding these executives' feet to the fire about that stuff? That's what I want to well, see regulation on. Well, that can be on. regulated, and that can right. be censored. Where is it happening? And that's going to be the driving narrative. They're taking too much time. It's 
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.